Welcome to the third video in my Inside the Organ series. In the last video, I went into detail about the hardware of my Hauptwerk setup. In this video, I will show you in four steps how I install and configure a virtual pipe organ. First, the licenses, then installing the sample set, followed by loading the organ, and finally, configuring the console. I am using version 5 of the Hauptwerk software from Milan Digital Audio. The two editions of Hauptwerk and the commercial sample sets can only be activated using digital licenses. There is no charge to register for an account on the iLock website, iLock.com. You will need to download and install the license support package for your operating system. The package includes software called iLock License Manager. Your vendor will email you an activation code. Click here and enter the code. Since I have an internet connection, I am keeping my licenses in the cloud. If you need a standalone organ, you can purchase a dongle and download the licenses to the dongle. However, if you do that, I strongly recommend that you take out special insurance to be able to replace the licenses if the dongle is lost or stolen. Now you can start Hauptwerk. I click here on Install and select one of the files that I downloaded earlier. You will need to stay near the computer to confirm actions like read and accept the license terms and then confirm that all the components are to be installed. Fortunately, with solid state disks, it goes pretty quickly. Today, I am installing the complete sample set of Peterborough Cathedral which means that I need to install all four editions. Unfortunately, you cannot automate or queue the installation process. Once all the additions are installed, you need to load the organ. I am going to configure the sample set for use with my 10.1 speaker system that featured in my last video. So I first select all the registers and sound effects and switch them from stereo to mono. This also enables me to increase the resolution to 24-bit and turn off memory compression. This configuration will just fit into the 32 gigabytes of RAM. I also set it to always load all sample loops and all release samples. Finally, my personal preference is to turn off the sounds of the blower, key actions, palette actions and tremulant noises. However, I do keep the stop action noises. They are particularly useful for synchronizing the video recorded at the console with the audio recording generated by Hauptwerk. Once you click OK, you can go for a coffee while Hauptwerk creates a special cache image of the sample set. Once created, Hauptwerk only needs to load this cache from the SSD into RAM so starting or changing sample set is normally very quick. Okay, the virtual pipe organ is now ready to be configured. By default, Hauptwerk displays large 
floating control panels for audio, MIDI and performance, registration, pitch and recorder player. Mini control panels for queued favourites and console window size and the main console window piston toolbar. Personally, I don't use these, so I turn them off. I do like the mini control panels for combination set, load, save and assign, combination stepper and recorder stroke player transport. At this point, I usually configure the audio channels and routing of the pipe ranks. However, due to the introduction of innovative audio features with Hauptwerk version 5, this can now be quite complicated. Therefore, I will be dedicating the whole of episode 5 to the audio settings. To get the organ playing, we need to link my console to the virtual organ. Thanks to the auto detect feature, this is really easy. I will start with the pedals. I right click on the pedal board and select auto detect MIDI trigger settings. I then press the lowest and the highest note and click done. I repeat the process for the manuals, choir, great, swell and solo. The expression pedals just need to be closed and opened again. I can set the foot pistons and thumb pistons like this. The Peterborough sample set reproduces the original console features. For example, the stepper function increments through the eight general pistons and their memory levels. I prefer to use the stepper function of Hauptwerk, so I am going to configure my plus thumb piston to advance the stepper. My console also has a plus foot piston. I can set that to activate the same function as the thumb piston by clicking on Adjust MIDI key trigger settings. I go to input 2, select auto detect settings and press the button. Click done. Now both activate the stepper advance. One further tip is to assign the general cancel piston to also reset the stepper. When you click done, it will warn you that the piston was already assigned to the control general cancel. In this case, I do want to activate both controls, so I just click OK. Finally, the draw stops. My console is wired so that the on-off state of each draw stop is assigned to the same note and channel on the MIDI input 
as the solenoid coil activation signals on the MIDI out port. When I click auto detect, after pulling the draw stop on and then pushing it off again, I need to select this tick box. Send matching MIDI output to control this MIDI draw knob tab switch and select the port and click done. So the solenoid coils are configured as well. The draw stop on the console is now linked to the virtual pipe organ. I said it was easy, but with 18 foot pistons, 56 thumb pistons, and 96 draw stops, it is very time consuming. You have to repeat this procedure for every sample set. If, like me, you use more than one configuration of Hauptwerk, more about that in episode five, then you have to repeat this for every sample set in every Hauptwerk configuration. So that is how I install and configure a sample set in Hauptwerk version five. In the next video, I will introduce the various stops of this organ. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching.